Marvel Survivor Okinawa. We are in our home stretch here. I've just given the uh, deadline for the final three to place their votes. So let's go ahead and uh, cue the music. Now the interesting thing tonight is that uh, with this reaction video, I'm actually not really expecting a surprise. I think it's absolutely locked up how this one is going to go. Um, the other two times that I've done this twist in Japan and Ireland, they were both huge surprises for different reasons. Uh, so this reaction video is going to be a little bit different. Um, the thing is, for probably a good week and a half-ish, I just saw no way around the final two not being Sierra and Eric. With Sierra very likely winning, like I've talked about before, and, and winning her third game. So I always thought I would get to this point and I'd be talking about what are the ways in which Eric could make a case to win. And he still would have had a chance, absolutely. I, it would not have surprised me at all to see Sierra Eric go to a 5-4, you know, with maybe Sierra just barely taking it, or maybe Eric actually winning his first game. You never know. But uh, Francesca <laughs> turned out to be the critical chess piece. I have to applaud her for the move she made to try to advance her game like I had been talking about. So good on her. She, uh, she took a shot and I can tell that she's grown as a player. But here we have three people at the end here. Every single one of them has won at least one ropes game with Sierra being as of right now, our only two-time winner. As far as I know, Jeremy and Tasha are going to be the final two. Unless they are both playing me to degrees I can't even fathom. So that means that we are going to end up with our second two-time winner, which is fascinating to think about. Let me check out the voting booths. Sierra is posting in her voting booth. Okay, Jeremy and Tasha have actually placed their vote. And the thing is with Sierra, from the outside looking in, it's easy to think she's the easier path to a win. She is not a goat at all. Jeremy has even established that in his own confessional. You know, he, he does not view her that way at all. She's, she's more of a free agent. There's no way you can really consider Sierra a goat. Sierra absolutely thinks that Tasha or Jeremy should take her to the end. Right now, I am reasonably confident there are at least four votes for Sierra in the jury house right now. I'm telling y'all, <laughs> it is not unheard of that Sierra could potentially beat either one of them. I think it would be harder for Sierra to beat Tasha, absolutely. But Sierra against Jeremy? You know what? Either one, Sierra against either one of them actually could be a 5-4 win. Maybe Tasha takes a 5-4 against Sierra, or Jeremy takes a 5-4 against Sierra. But with what I think, at least as of this moment in time, are four potential uh, jury votes for her right now. It's a nine-person jury. You know, maybe maybe Ian would be the swing vote, like I was writing about uh, back before, you know, about the, uh, the jury management. Maybe Sierra's jury management would have been enough to uh, to swing Ian towards voting for for Sierra. Uh, she also did great jury management in her fallen comrades, as as she always does. She's never been in a game and not gotten to the point of doing fallen comrades. So yay for her. That's an incredible streak. So Sierra votes out Jeremy. Okay, which which is a change because she she had been wanting to go to the end with Jeremy. Absolutely, you know, he was willing to force a tie and everything, but, you know, with, with Sierra, she, I mean, to a T, follows that ropes rule about how you don't overlook anyone in the game. Sure, you know, 99%, there's every, everybody is gonna have that time that there's just somebody that maybe they fell away from for just a little bit longer than they wished they had, but like 99% of the time, I mean, she is on it. Trust me, I look at those PMs, all right? And it has really gotten under her skin that Jeremy has basically stopped talking to her now that uh, now that they've been in the final three. So she's voting out Jeremy. Okay, Jeremy has placed his vote for Sierra, and 
and I'm not doing these in order. I'm just uh, and yeah, and then Tasha has voted out Sierra. So we do not like I had thought <laughs> long ago, <laughs> but uh, at least once we got to this point, uh, yes, this is not a surprise final two. Um, perhaps the jury house might uh, be surprised. We'll we'll see. But Tasha and Jeremy as the final two of Survivor Okinawa, season 19. This is the largest lead of the night. Westbrook loving what the crowd did, energizing this Thunder team. The entire lower bowl on its feet for Russell Westbrook and the Thunder.